Okay, so here I'm going to show how to get amazing um, adhesion onto a glass uh, 3D printing bed. So right now the glass is pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see. But um, yeah, there's like water spots and stuff all over it. So all you need to do is get some good dish soap, like Dawn or Palm Olive or whatever. Um, make the glass a little bit wet using some warm water. And then this part's important because your hands get like natural oils and things. So what you do, you put some soap on it like that, and then you just rub it with your hand. That way the oils will also get removed from your hand as well. So do that on one side. Just to be safe, you can do it on the other side as well. You only need to do it on the side you're printing on, but yeah, you can do both sides. Do that. Once you get it all soaked up, just rinse it all off. Make sure to keep using both hands, that way the oil is removed from your hands. So that way when you touch it, it doesn't get the grease back on it. So usually after I rinse off most of the soap, I'll do this a second time. Put a little more soap on it, just like that. All over again. You can also get the edges if there might be your grease from your hands on it or other contaminants. Okay. Get both sides. When I replace the, when I remove the glass, I leave one here so I kind of keep it the same way so I don't have to worry about leveling as much. But usually you should also check the leveling every time just to be safe. So. Rinse it off again. And some people they like to use glue sticks and stuff. Um, this will actually clean off all the any glue stick residue you have. Um, if you use washable glue stick, uh, the glue stick will come off easily if you were having a hard time cleaning it off the plate. So, okay. So once you do that, try and handle it by the edges or the corners um, where where it's not going to print. So that way, um, as you're hands release more of the oils it won't contaminate the plate so I don't dry it with anything I just after that let it drip all off um, if your water has a lot of like hard like hard water contaminants like calcium or lime or whatever um, you might want to dry it with something but I usually found just letting it drip off like that and then uh, even while it's still wet I just put it back on the um, 3d printer and then while it's heating it just evaporates the rest of the water pretty quickly so after that just take it to the 3d printer so um, I'll just show you that in a bit all right okay so now that you have the um, uh, glass all washed with soap um, what you want to do is you want to um, set the temperature here um, to whatever you normally print at, just so that way the glass can expand um, and be um, like the thickness how it normally is when you're printing on it. So normally I would print on a 60 degree bed. Um, and then to make sure it's leveled, um, on my printer it has this uh, bed auto leveling thing. It's not really automatic, but it goes to the corners. So press that it'll go to one corner I have this tool that I use that's super thin um, so I use that some people use a piece of paper you can use whatever um, but the, I found this works well so when you get it there then you can look down here and see how close it is so usually I like it where when I push this metal piece under it kind of lifts it a bit like that so it's not extremely difficult to push under, but it 
but it goes and it lifts it. So that one's good. So some people are probably like, why are you leveling it so, um, so close to the glass? It's going to be very difficult to remove, um, but I'll show you how you can remove it in a bit. So see, this one's good. And that's why I, when I wash it, I leave one of these on so I know which corner it stays on so I don't have to re-level it every single time. Okay, so same thing, just go around, check all four corners. Same thing, goes under easily. Okay, see, so it's like that. And then um, a good way to check it, um, one good way to check that your leveling is good is to print something that uses up like most of the, um, the plate, um, preferably the outer edges first. Um, I don't have that though, so um, I have one that I printed that takes up the whole plate, but it'll like go through the middle first. And this allows you to see like how it's printing onto the bed so that way you can make those adjustments while it's printing. So you'll see that if it's squished a lot or not squished at all or none of the filament is coming out. And that'll help you know that okay this side is too close to the glass or too far from the glass. So, so as you can see right now it's printing. So it's printing that square out. So that's kind of how I like it to be like squished. Actually towards the outer edges it's going to be even less um, squished. So yeah so I'll show you in a bit after this printed prints a bunch. Um, if I need to adjust it I'll adjust it but yeah pretty much if you see it's like to the point where nothing's coming out while it's printing then you're going to want to adjust that the height so that it's more even so here you can see the left is actually um, a little bit further so it's darker so that means I need to adjust that okay so I'll adjust it and then I'll show you uh, once it's printing more around the edges okay so I found it was pretty even and it was actually just the lighting so as you can see this design it's actually printing a pretty big design all the way around and one thing I forgot to mention, do not touch the glass um, while it's printing because if you touch it and your hands have some grease on it, it's going to leave some residue there and um, the print won't stick. So with this, um, I also found um, before I was cleaning it with like isopropyl alcohol and stuff like that and it works fine the first few times but once you start getting contaminants on the um, glass and you clean it with isopropyl alcohol instead of cleaning up that that contaminants it actually will just um, basically disperse it into a thinner layer all across the glass so eventually your prints won't stick at all so this method actually works the best uh, a nice clean piece of glass um, just make sure and then get it to kind of squish onto there so if you can see like the layers at least for the middle is kind of more thin to the point where you can almost see through it so that helps it stick a lot but yeah don't touch the glass um, if you do touch the glass you're gonna have to wash it again and repeat the process from the beginning leveling it and everything um, But yeah never touch the glass unless you wanna redo it and this usually it'll keep the print sticking for quite a long time um, you don't have to worry about the water underneath but yeah you can see like there's water underneath it'll eventually all evaporate um, <coughs> but yeah so as you can see um, it's printing and if I nudge this let's see I don't want to use my hands but you can see it's like stuck pretty well so if I nudge this it's just staying there so once this prints, um, because you're probably wondering like how the heck are you supposed to get this off if it's printing like this, because um, before when I first did this, um, I was trying to peel it off um, and they were stuck.
pretty solidly, so I'll show you what happened. So because I just tried to rip it off, then this happened. The parts that were super clear got like that, but the other side, see, if it prints nicely, you get this really nice shiny effect. So we got that, and then when I figured out how to do it better, how to remove them better, they turned out a lot nicer. So you see like almost all of it is shiny. Um, I don't know if this is one of the old ones, but yeah, but it turns out a lot better. Um, if anything, if you don't need the part to be shiny, you could always just sand this off. Um, it's easier with smaller prints because then you can focus on like the level of the center. Um, if it's getting that peeling issue and not glossy like you want it, um, just adjust the height so it's a little bit further from the plate so it's not sticking as strongly. But yeah, after this thing finishes, this print takes almost 20 hours. I'm printing a bunch of those boxes that I just showed. Um, after this print finishes, I'll show you how to easily release it without uh, much force at all. So, okay, I'll see you in about 20 hours. Okay, so here's an update uh, on the print just to show you how thin, how close it is to the um, nozzle. Uh, that it's actually printing so thin that it's clear. And then you can actually see that the glass isn't very um, even of a printing surface. So actually the center is a little bit higher so it actually bows upward. Um, if you have a really flat glass, then that probably work better. Um, yeah. But you don't have to get the whole thing like smushed like this. Actually, it's good that it's like, if it's more like this, where you can't really see through it. But because the glass isn't completely flat, this is what I have to do. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you in a, um, in a bit once this print finishes in about um, probably another 19 hours um, how you can easily remove this right. okay so now I'll show how to easily remove this um, so you can see that this piece here um, it's like so um, it was printed so close to the bed that it was kind of getting almost see-through so all you need to do, because um, there's really no way you pull this off without doing anything else. Um, some people would try and scrape it off and then like damage their print. But all you need to do is get some water. I put it in this syringe so it's easier to do. And just put it in the edges. So the water will work its way under. So you just got to leave it there and then wait. Um, you can also like put it in the edges, but since this thing has like a little, um, like my print almost has like a little reservoir, uh, it's easier for me to just put it all in here. And just leave it there. And you'll hear it slowly, it'll start crackling. Let me see, I'll turn off the printer so you can hear it a bit better. But you can hear it's crackling. So the water is actually working its way underneath the pieces. Um, you might want to get ready with a paper towel or something. Or what you can do is um, you can just use this and then suck up the extra. But uh, usually the water will stay on the glass so it's okay. So you can hear it's just crackling away. If you want you can like try and help it by pulling it a little bit. So you can hear, see, now it's like already coming out. So as you can see, it's getting much easier to peel up. Whoa, even that one already came out. So yeah, so all you need is a little water. Also, um, you have to let the bed cool down. So that helps um, with the glass um, and the plastic. It'll shrink um, so that way. Um, it'll kind of make a little, some little gaps that the water can travel under. Um, don't put cold water on a hot bed or you can damage the glass potentially. So, but yeah, as you can see, it's actually peeling itself. I'm not even doing anything and you can hear it all crackling up. So, 
Well, that's pretty much all you gotta do. And after some time, you'll be able to just lift them off like this. See? Comes off. See? Even that super thin layer, it's all just peeling up. See? It's super easy to peel off. Just do that. There you go. All that extra is um, the brim to keep the prints flat because if I don't put that, the edges will start like warping upwards. So as you can see, it's nice and clean underneath. So you can see like some water marks under there, but uh, you can see they're all like nice and glossy. And yeah, pretty much all of it just came off. This one actually, okay, I thought it printed weird. Okay, so it all came out pretty nice. This one's a little bit of that peeling effect, but for the most part, they're all pretty good. And even the super thin layer, you can just peel it up. Try not to touch the bed unless you want to wash it again. Um, you can use a like metal tool or something if you can't get the thing, but see? It all came off nicely. And that's pretty much it. If you want, you can dry it off with a paper towel. Um, if you don't want to do that, I guess you can get like distilled water, then it'll be easier. Because um, paper towel will also leave behind like lint and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it.